Greetings, goons, gangsters, and gamers. It's your boy, the Good Sir Knight. And today we're reviewing the 3M Pelter Comtech 5s. Yeah, so what's up, everyone? We're looking at the Comtech 5s today. Quick little review, nothing too special. The uh, audio quality, as you can tell on the mic, is pretty good. And these are an upgrade from the 3. A few things to take note of. Are they as great as amps? Eh, not so much. I mean, for one, Opscore amps, to my knowledge, have never really, uh, you know, had any lawsuits about their hearing protection. So, I mean, 3 I'm pretty sure they've worked their way around it, but quick little history. I had the Sordens first from one of my buddies, do a little Sordens review. Sordens were pretty cool. I liked those a lot, but they did pick up a lot of the wind. Fast forward, got some, uh, Peltor Comtac 3s. And the 3s were pretty cool. They were a pain to move these little uh, arms off of and switch between the helmet and whatnot. And they also had the, uh, really painful to work with, a uh, little leather headband, but, you know, it's whatever, easy fix. Um, from that we got the amps. The amps initially had a problem on the first batch, because I got some of the really early ones. They had a battery problem, I had to send them in, get them fixed, and now they are Gucci. But the fives, fives are a bit more unique, so they do a few cool things differently. For one, they've improved the hear-through technology, Man more 360, not as great as the amps, but definitely noticeable improvement overall. That is the sound of my AC. Alright, cool. Right? Yeah, I can hear my AC even from here. That's pretty cool. It's pretty quiet otherwise. So, um, yeah, as you say, same old AAA batteries, one on each side, similar cable. The mic still does that weird plug behind the ear thing that connects onto this little piece here instead of, uh, like the amp just plugs directly in. I do like the amp microphone better. Um, let's see, let's actually pop these off real quick. As you can see, these have the gel cup upgrade. Mic still pops up. These are still fixed down lead cable. And uh, yeah, the headband now is, um, whatchamacallit, it's a little plastic thing. And you can actually, because I guess they noticed everyone was cutting their leather ones to take the uh, cable out. These ones actually come apart. You got a whole setup there, so you can actually reuse these. You don't cut them once and throw them away. So yeah, you can pop all this off and uh, take the headset apart and save your cable. So you can uh, put them back on the headset system. Now the uh, few things to note, still the same two button setup here. I didn't run this through my uh, shoulder strap. So the same two button setup, so volume up. You see, I think the back one does volume down, right? Yeah, and they'll actually say silence. They gave you a nice little robotic lady voice beeps on maximum. You adjust that. If you do max it out, you will get some feedback, so things to know. Um, it does say power on, power off, cool stuff like that. Fits nicely over your hat. And yeah, so that's the majority of the things, as you can tell. Audio quality is still really, really good. We're using uh, Demitos UBZ LP20 Kenwood radios for this testing. So yeah, boom mic, pretty clear. You can also plug in the uh, things with the uh, solder, Opscore solder mask and all that cool stuff. But yeah, volume up, volume down. It's really hard to do these reviews because I can't put these on your head so you can listen and get the same uh, clarity and all that cool stuff. But yeah, you gotta, you gotta just gotta take my word for it. <laughs> sure, I can jam microphones into a dummy mannequin head or something. But yeah, so pretty cool. Comfy in the best color, OD green, <laughs> right next to Coyote Brown. And yeah, so key takeaway is actually I press these two buttons. Let's just say. Power off, right? And I think you just hold the back button. Then if you press both buttons, it goes into uh, setting mode. So one of the key things... Will you stop beeping at me, you freaking nerd? So one of the key things to note is that taking these off, they have made significant improvements to the arm. So not just can you keep your nice little fancy padded uh, headset and set them back together when you take them off the helmet, but it is also very easy, it's a lot easier to put them on the helmet. Now, not as easy as amps, but you do give these the old push and bam, they come right off. This used to be one of the key sticking points for me with the Comtac 3s, was not only did you need to get a new headband every time unless you could get a cool upgrade, but the freaking arms were a huge pain to take on and off. And these, you just twist them inwards. And look at that. It's stupid easy. That's fantastic. I love that. But yeah, so. Let's see, a 3M Peltor, you know, all the nomenclature numbers and stuff. Two mics, single down lead, two buttons, and of course, then you pop those free, and there's your AAA batteries. AAA, yeah, AAA. 
Waterproof, all that cool stuff. You still got your two pickups up on the front there. I don't see any pickups on the back. But the hearing is definitely improved, and it's a nice little upgrade from the Comtac 3s. So, do you want to buy these, or do you want to save up for amps? Well, personally, I do really, really like my amps. But these are, uh, these are definitely decent for what they do. Especially with the gel cups. The gel cups make a lot of difference. They do uh, feel a lot warmer on the ears than the amps, but, you know, say la vie. Um, so, yeah. So these, they generally go 700, 800, brand new. But if you pick them up on eBay or from friends or something like that, you can get for about 500 which is roughly half the price you'd be spending on these super fancy amps. However, you can't do the cool near magnetic field induction craziness that the amps do through witchcraft and, well, generally just magic, so pretty cool nonetheless. But that's pretty much the whole review. Plug them in there, good to go. Let me turn you off, you're not doing anything important. So if you have any questions about these, feel free to ask. They are a lot easier to move between uh, stuff move between the helmet and the headband. I do think the headband disassembly feature is a very smart move they opted for. Yeah, look how easy that is. That is beautiful. Yeah, cables used up in the front. So, questions, comments, feel free to hit me up. But really the decision between these and the amps comes entirely down to you. Do you want to have a... I mean, these are perfectly fine. And for 500, that's a pretty affordable price. And they do make the, uh, who is it, AXL. You guys make the zipper, they do make the adapters for the uh, the amp adapters to make them run with stuff like this. So if you're looking for a way to still have the cool arm swing, but have also cheaper, about half the price for the headset, these are a pretty solid thing. And like I said, compared to the threes, I would definitely go with the fives just because of the ease of the arms and the saving of the headset in case you're doing some hat and ear pro on the range. So. Yeah, that's it. That's all I got for you guys. Cheers. Stay chill for us. Um, and America, naturally. Always. Peace out, everyone.